I am here with Don Staley in Greenville after South Carolina's SEC Championship win. Don, first of all, the seventh one, how does this one compare to the others? Well, first of all, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. You got, you got that glow. You I got do. that glow to you. <laughs> um, you got that same glow I got from winning the, na winning the um, National Championship and the, and the SEC Tournament Championship. Um, I mean, it's great. I'm, I'm super happy for this team. Like, this team of players who really believe in each other. They, they want to win all of their games. They sacrificed to do that, and I mean it's only fitting, especially for our 2019 class who, who uh, came in winning a SEC tournament championship. Now they get a chance to go out as seniors, winning another one, and uh, what better way to, to send them off? Speaking of that class, I asked them all this question, but they've been honoring SEC legends all week long. What do you think their legacy is going to be in this conference? I mean, I think this team is going to be remembered for. No, not just the, the wins. It's, it's how they go about doing it. I think you see them as you see them as athletes, but you also see a big part of who they are as people. They pick our opponents up every time they fall. You know, they always have something gracious to say about our opponents. Um, they're just incredibly great human beings, and I hope that through the winning, um, we can see exactly who they are and we can expect nothing but for them to be successful as, as they, approach, um, they approach winning in life and, and winning basketball games. So I'm, happy, I'm truly happy for them. In today's game, Tennessee, a truly talented team. They have some WNBA caliber players on their squad. What was the separation in today's game? I think the separation was our depth, our, our ability to play different people, uh, to throw at those potential WNBA players in Jordan Horson and Rakia Jackson, uh, it, it's tiresome when you have to, you know, Rakia had to play against uh, Aaliyah Boston, then turn around had to play against LA, then, you know, we, we gave her a little Victoria Saxon, and then Jordan Horston, Bree Bill was running her around, Zaya got, got uh, switched off on her, and then, you know, lastly we put Raven on her. Just exhausting and I think our depth is the is the separator for us. I don't know about you, but I was sitting here courtside. The last time I was in this sitting in that seat was right before COVID. That's my lasting memory of when everything got shut down. What were did you feel any of that? Think about that of the twenty twenty tournament and being back here with the full arena and everything? Um I I, I really don't. Like it's a blur that what's happened in between. Um, but I do remember winning it. I do remember celebrating. I do remember shaking people's hands and hugging and wondering why I didn't I didn't catch COVID at that particular time but also just it was a it was a, an end to a, a career of our two seniors um, Ty and Kiki that that I remember the most because they didn't get a chance to play in an NCAA tournament in their senior years but um, thankfully we got a chance to actually give them their their 2022 national championship rings because they were a big part of it. Going into the NCAA tournament, the narrative is going to be the quest for a perfect season. How do you make that a goal but not a pressure point for this team? Um, I mean, I think we we have been who, we, who we've who we been all season long. Like, we're, we're not going to change because the stakes get higher. I think we're going to be as poised and calm and collected as, we, as we've been all season long. And um, those are the habits that we, we formed, and hopefully we take those into the NCAA tournament. Lastly, the players said they're going to the beach. What are you doing the next four days? Um, I'm gonna take tomorrow off. Uh, I gotta go recruiting on the West Coast. So there's my there there's my there's my break. Congrats, Don. Thanks. Thank you, Matt.